Hello, welcome. We all have to get our inspiration from somewhere <laughs> and now it's raining. I follow a guy, he's in Hong Kong, Keith his name is, hashtag or rather Ampersand, no what was it, the Curly At, um, clueless YouTuber and he set himself a challenge of seven days photography every single day, right? And I thought, you know what, I can get on board with this, so I'm going to do the same because we all need to get our inspiration from somewhere. <laughs> so armed with just my GoPro, my Sony CyberShot, I'm going to do seven day challenge. Now, I don't know where the um, locations are going to be. I've only thought of this today, seeing Keith's video, um, but I think I already decided I would do Gunstone. Now it's pronounced Gunstone, but it's spelt like this. <laughs> and I've always called it Goodness Stone, but it's Gunstone. Well, in fact, here's, here's a little clip from, um, from the web on how to pronounce it. Gunstone. So yeah, I'm gonna walk up the street. It's a quintessentially English village dates back to 1050. Can you believe that? You know Harold Goodwinson, Godwinson, Arrow in the Eye, Battle of Hastings? His father was the Earl of Goodwinston, or Goodwinston, thought to be a homestead. So it kind of dates back from there. It's fabulous. It's ancient. We've got old buildings from Tudor times, the um, 18th century, 1700s. There's a huge, glorious manor house at the end. So I think I can just walk up and down. Well, no, I'm going to start here at this end and walk all the way to the manor house and just take pictures. Now, in terms of the next six days, because I want to do this, I want to do the challenge. It's not challenging you, it's challenging me to actually just get out and take pictures. So, hmm. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it brings. It will be an interesting exercise, albeit all seven days, but each day will be different. So I spied these old bicycles, and I think with the old windows, that could make for a nice little shot. Got a modern motorcycle there, so I might have to chop it out. You know what? I can, what's, what am I thinking? I can um, clone it out, <laughs> call the midwife, right? <laughs> so yeah, the village dates back to 1050 and there's an interesting connection to Jane Austen at the end, but I'll talk about that when we get there. Gunston. <laughs> my, my head is saying it needs to be goodness stone. <laughs> And you'll see when I can take a picture of this signpost, it looks a bit amazing. <laughs> I like that. What's that one? Chillinden and Ithorn. No, I need to get the um, post box straight on, I think. <laughs> All roads lead to Gunston. Oh, look at this. We've got um, jams for sale. Homemade jams, two pound. I'll have to do it that way so you can see what I'm doing because it was too high for the um, GoPro. <laughs> oh look at this, this is an old Tudor type building isn't it? Look at those chimneys, amazing. It's got to be worth a shot. Just total randoms, that's all. If I see something catches my eye that's interesting, quirky, any of that kind of stuff, then I shall take a photograph of it. Right, let's walk up the, the street. Car coming. No pavements, you see, just narrow lanes. Oh, look at this. That's 
that's interesting. <laughs> kind of totem pole thing going on. Small is beautiful. Standing on the shoulders of giants. Oh, look at that with the hammock. I've got to get a shot of the hammock. That looks great. So English, isn't it? In an English country garden. I just saw the hammock and thought, oh, that, that's a good shot. It's a good bit of exercise as well, because I could do this going down the Folkestone High Street, but then that just becomes street photography, doesn't it? But doing it this way, I'm just seeing all this quintessentially loveliness. Oh, look at that. Take a shot of that. Old abandoned car look. <laughs> Seen better days. It's a nice picture. I would think it's um, declared sawn, don't you? The parsonage. So you've got the church opposite. And the vicar would have lived in the parsonage, which I guess is private now, isn't it? Should we take a quick look up in the, um, in the church? See if there's anything of interest here. <laughs> Apart from pigeons. I wonder if Jane Austen would have come here when her brother owned Goodnestone Park. Gun Gunstone. Gunstone. Another over in Godmersham where Edward Knight, her brother, um, was kind of Lord of the Manor. Actually, there's a plaque in the Godmersham church that says Jane, Aus Jane Austen worshipped here. I like that with the spire. Bit of a weird angle actually. All the way from the top, there's an old sundial there. Comes down to that door. It's handy having it as a handheld point and shoot kind of thing because I couldn't look at the screen with the DSLR because my DSLR doesn't do the live view or if it does it just kills the battery instantly. But I like the door. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get back on the main road before it really chucks down with rain. It would have been a good shot had the traffic gun not been there. You know what, for the sake of the photograph, I'll put it back in a minute. <laughs> I just want an aesthetically good looking picture. The stairs leading down, a bit of leading line stuff, right? I can even take the picture with my thumb. <laughs> One handed photography, right? Put the comb back. Oop. Oh, it's heavy. One-handed oops. One-handed photography, <laughs> and then for one finger to do the, the cone. Looks lovely, doesn't it? I love the walls. Oh, what does it say? Clergy parking only. I see that myself as a James Popsis moment. I'll get the top of the shrubs in there. Anyway, if I was going to do a James Pops this moment, then I've got to take a photograph of a traffic cone. He's a funny photographer, James Popsis, because his eye catches all sorts of weird and wonderful things. <laughs> Just a traffic cone. Oh, look at that little cottage. Isn't that amazing? Can't get a really good angle from it. It's so tiny. little cottage. Right, so we're at the end of the street now. Um, there's only the manor house at the end. I like the randomness of just taking pictures. That has to be a portrait shot with the lane. I suppose I should include the telegraph pole actually, shouldn't I? 
but I like the wall. The wall is the thing that's catching my eye. Let's try it in portrait, but then also try it in landscape. The lane that leads to somewhere. We've all been on those country walks, haven't we? Where you kind of, if you don't know the route, you think, are we going back yet? <laughs> I'm tired. And then when you revisit the routes over and over and over, it's only just down the lane, come on, you'll be all right. See, I like that aspect with the gate and the flowers, is that roses? Probably not up on that. But then you've got the rubbish bins. <laughs> it kills the scene, it really does. Thomas Austin was Jane Austen's father. He had a third cousin, and I forget his name, but I'll put it on the screen. And he had no son and he needed an heir because way back when you lost all your property if you didn't have a male heir. And so he adopted at the age of either 12 or 15. I've seen it on multiple websites. And um, that enabled Thomas, sorry, Brooke, what was his name? Brooke Knight. It enabled him to bequeath his inheritance to his adopted son, James uh, Edward Austin, who later changed his name to Edward Knight. So when you think Jane Austen has a brother called Edward Knight, you think, no, that doesn't, that's not right. <laughs> anyway, Edward Austin, Edward Knight, married into the Brooke family. Now, or the Bridge family. Brooke Bridge was treasurer, he was a member of parliament, during the time of um, Henry, uh, Charles II. So this was before, because I guess Edward, I'm, I'm getting misinformation here, but Edward Knight would have been around 1780s. So the family, he married into the family anyway. I like the gate, the door into the, got to go straight on with that, haven't we? So Jane Austen would have come down here and stayed in the house, which we don't get a good view of. It's behind the wall there. We'll see it in a minute as we walk by. How about this though? <laughs> Private ground, no dogs. Dilapidated shed type thing. I think it's actually a cricket pavilion, isn't it? Racked and ruined. Jane Austen was here. <laughs> I'm gonna see how far I can get down here. That does look strangely attractive with the bamboo shoots, strangely. Here a helicopter. Something coming over. I want to see if I can get the house in a good aspect because the alternative is to go way down over the fields there. I was here doing my infrared photography, link up here, during the summer and I was taking shots. That was a fun video with Professor Click. Do you remember Professor Click? I think it was Professor Click, German guy. <laughs> Tag, wie geht's? Welcome. That looks quite majestic. It's starting to rain, and this video might be going on longer than I had hoped. For a seven day challenge, let's just get the stately home. Ideally situated. Okay, there we go. End of day one. I don't know how long the video is, but I'm actually going to try and release one every single day today is monday if you're following the channel then you will no doubtedly watch the next sequence of videos because i'm going to do them one at a time every single day otherwise make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the um the following six <laughs> they may be naff they may be lots of fun they might be filled with erroneous historical T tidbits? Is that what the Americans call it? We call them titbits. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.